Yo, what's good? Big Z here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. So that is my remake of the instrumental from the Weekends track, Blinding Lights. It's a super popular song. I think it has over a billion plays on Spotify. And I figured it was time for a new pop remake. So I decided to do this one. It has a lot of cool 80s vibes in there. So let's just get into it. By the way, I'll have the project file and the preset sounds down below for free download if you wanna check those out. I can't promise everything will work perfectly if you don't have the same plugins I use, but you can try. Um, anyway, let's get into these sounds. There's a lot of cool sounds here. If I just mute the leads, we can really hear the bass and the chords. I love that bass sound. It's actually coming from this bass layer right here. Then below that, it's just like a really distorted sub sound. So I guess I'll talk about the sub first and then the layer above it. So to get this kind of distorted bass, you wanna go into Serum and use the analog BD sine wavetable and move the wavetable position to the right to add a little more harmonics. Then in the effects section, I've just added some multi-band compression. I've cranked up the tube distortion almost all the way. And then I have this low pass filter on there, just filtering out all the high frequencies. Down on the bottom right, I've got mono checked so the bass notes don't overlap at all. And I've got this envelope right here controlling the cutoff of the filter. So it just moves it down slightly over time. So it starts off a little hotter. Then for external processing on the sound, I have this EQ right here, just cutting off everything below 30 Hertz. And then I have Fab Filter Saturn, adding some saturation to the frequencies between like 100 Hertz and 200 Hertz. So without the saturation, then with it. Adding the saturation just really helps those sub frequencies show up on devices like cell phones and laptop speakers where you wouldn't necessarily hear things below like 80 to 100 hertz, but you can really hear the frequencies between 100 and 200 hertz as the bass. So you want those to pop a little bit more. The last thing I'm doing to this is just sending it to my bass bus down here and side chaining it to the kick. So on top of that, we have this bass layer. I'll solo it so you can hear what it sounds like again. Really cool 80s type sound. And this sound in Serum is two saw waves. So the first one is an octave down. The second one is two octaves down. Um, this one has six voices of unison, this one has seven. What's giving it that 80s vibe is really the resonance on the filter. So in the effects section, I have some compression, some tube distortion, and then the filter that's being controlled by this envelope. If I were to turn the resonance down, then I'll crank it back up. So all in all, it's a pretty simple sound. It's just that resonance that's giving it the cool vibe there. Also over in the oscillator tab, I have the sub oscillator on just to make it sound even deeper. So without the sub oscillator, then with it. So the sound is really just three different saw layers all on different octaves. This one's three octaves down, this one's two octaves down, and this one is one octave down. And it gives you that really stacked big vibe. 
For external processing on this one, I just have an EQ, cutting off everything below 130 hertz to make room for the sub bass. And then I have this Valhalla Vintage Verb just to make it a little bit bigger and put it in a room. Now on top of those bass sounds, we have a couple chord layers just to fill out the space some more. So this chord layer is a hypo wave table in Serum with 15 voices of unison and some detune on there. Here's what the envelope controlling the amplitude of the sound looks like. And then here's the envelope that's controlling the actual cutoff of the filter in the effects section. And you can see like the last bass sound, I have a lot of resonance on this filter as well. For other effects, I've got some dimension expander, multiband compression, and this EQ that's just reducing some harsh frequencies around 3000 Hertz and uh, cutting off the low end. Just cleans it up a little bit. Then to make it a little more analog and old school sounding, I've got LFO1 here, controlling the fine tune of the oscillator. So it just slightly moves the pitch back and forth to make it sound more analog. For external effects, I have this EQ that's really just cutting off the low and high end, just to kind of filter it out a little bit more and put it in the mix. And then I have this Bahala Vintage Verb just right on the channel strip. So there's one more layer just to fill out the chords a little bit more down here. And this is a simple sound just to fill out the chords a little bit more. Here's the two wavetables I use. They're both in the vowel section. I've got LFO1 just shifting the detune of these wavetables back and forth just a little bit to give them a little more movement. But in the effects section, I just have some compression, reverb, and this EQ on there. Then I'm sending both those chord layers to my synth bus where I'm side chaining them with FabFilter Pro C. And then I have this super VHS plugin that's kind of just moving the pitch back and forth to make it sound even more analog. I'll increase the effect here so you can really hear what it's doing. So this heat knob is just adding some saturation and the drift is just slowly drifting the pitch back and forth. So now we add in the last component which is the lead sounds. So here's what the main lead sound sounds like by itself. So in oscillator A, we've got this saw wave here. Seven voices unison and some detune. Then oscillator B is really giving it that bell-like character. I've got the note velocity down here linked to the level of each oscillator, just so it's not always the same volume when you're playing it on the keyboard. So if I were to play the note really softly, it's pretty quiet and louder. It ups the level and amplitude of the sound. So that just makes it sound a little bit more like a real keyboard. I've got mono checked so the notes don't run into each other. And I've got this envelope here controlling the amplitude of the sound with some release on here. Then in the effects section, I've got some dimension expander, multiband compressor, a filter, and some delay. So without those effects, than with those effects. Then externally, I've got this reverb on there, which sounds really good, this Pahala Vintage Verb.
and I'm side chaining this sound of the kick as well so everything grooves together. There's one more lead layer that you can barely hear. It's kind of more in the background. Just to kind of fill out the space a little bit more, I added it. Um, and that's just a hypo wavetable. It's kind of just like a saw wave and it's really detuned here. Externally, I have some reverb and the mix is on 100% just to kind of put it in a different space than the main lead. Lastly, we've got this drum beat in the background that is pretty simple. If you want those samples, I'll also make sure to include them down below. Anyway, I'll make sure to play the full remake again at the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.